Hi, I'm Tom Kay. I'm the founder of Finisterre. Finisterre was born from the needs of cold water surfers and builds the best and most sustainable product we can for those that share our love of the sea. I suppose when I started Finisterre 15 years ago, I think the um, I really started a, a need for product, a need to address a sustainability agenda. Um, back then, there weren't very many, or if at all, any brands um, really having a really strong design ethos around sustainability, innovating to achieve sustainability. Um, and that was one of our main sort of founding principles. And we started on three points of commitment, commitment to product, environment and people. And those very much exist in the business and the product we make and the place we are today. So what is circular economy? I suppose for us um, it's about um, designing product uh, that looks at the entire life cycle of a product, not just when it's in the hands of a customer. Um, it's about thinking about how it's made, what it's made from, where it's made, who made it. Um, then building a product that lasts for long as possible. Um, durability is a big one of our big things. We make product that lasts as long as possible because that is the longer lasting product is, is by fact the most sustainable one because it um, requires less raw materials to remake it. And also at the end of its life, which is as long as possible, what happens to it uh, in terms of its recyclability uh, and where, where, you know, what happens to it at the end and where does it go. Um, and I think if you look at the, that, sort of looking at that entire life cycle of a product rather than just the product when it's in the hand of the consumer is how we look at um, sort of circular economy and designing product with a circular economy in mind. So we've implemented that with our business. It's hard. I mean, you can't sort of wave a magic wand and it, you know, be a circular economy um, type business. But um, we really get to the roots of all of our fabrics. Fabric selection is a bit of a major one. There's a lot of innovation throughout our product, and I think it's really exciting to see um, that you know we've got recycled uh, polyesters, we've got recycled fill, we don't write it down. We've got you know a lot of merino, it's traceable merino with natural fiber. Uh, just appointed a full-time wetsuit recycler to work out how to recycle wetsuit. It's a major problem in our industry, um, and it's a real work in progress. We haven't, you know, we can't say we've got it cracked, uh, but our kind of ethos is one to use innovation to achieve sustainability, and by doing that, you address the, you start to really kind of make good ground in um, getting towards a circular economy. Why is it important to protect Cornish businesses? I think it's um, a real opportunity for Cornish businesses to lead. Um, I mean, a lot of businesses are Cornish, but they are, you know, they are competing on a global scale now, which is really exciting to see. And um, they're taking inspiration from our natural surroundings, and you know, you can take, for instance, uh, green plastics or stuff that's going on at the minute. Uh, you know, we're very much, you know, it's very evident. We're, you know, we're, we're you know, really evident to us that the damage that it's causing, and it's a really good inspiration for us to really um, address the needs and the kind of desires of a circular economy. I mean, 15 years ago, when I sort of started the business, I had a bit of a vision in terms of what I thought this brand could become. We had three points of commitment product and environment people, um, we set out to uh, really address a sustainability agenda through innovation. Um, and so if I look back on that journey, I think um, we've really sort of stuck to our guns and uh, as we've kind of grown and, um, you know, the reality of actually we really are doing what we say we're doing has sort of, you know, become more apparent. Uh, it's actually given us more confidence about moving forward and this is just a sort of, sort of start of the journey. and. We've still got a long way to go. We've got a lot of uh, things we can improve on, get better at. Um, and I'm you know, really excited about that. I'm really excited to be able to talk more about this at the Future Focus People, Planet, Profit event, our Needham project, uh, in about 10 days. And um, hopefully see a lot of you there.